All right, guys, so this story right here really, really, really is disgusting on multiple levels, okay? You have a New York radio host who um, killed a police officer, okay, uh, because she was out drunk driving, okay, and she hit a police officer who was directing traffic, right? And then she crashed her vehicle, got arrested, and that's how the story goes, but you know, it's disgusting because the fact that she was drinking, driving, right? What's also disgusting is the fact that before she got in her vehicle, uh, she was recorded talking about F the police, okay, before she did this. And then after the fact, right, the, probably the most disgusting part is the fact that the mainstream media is completely covering up the fact that she may have done this out of hatred for police okay her dislike for the police may have led her to do this and a lot of mainstream outlets particularly the new york times is leaving out this important piece of information to try not to push the narrative that you know rhetoric like maxine waters and lebron james that they're putting out here about police may be leading people to commit acts of violence against the police that, that's an important thing to talk about but guys this just shows how the mainstream media has an agenda to protect certain people and to protect a certain narrative okay and guys it's not just the mainstream media check out this coverage from local news media regarding this tragedy take a look very latest in the tragic loss of one of New York's finest. NYPD officer Anastasio Sacos killed while he was directing traffic at a crash site on the LIE. The woman in custody, Jessica Bouvet, admitted she had alcohol and she had smoked weed before crashing into Officer Sacos. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller following the story for us from Fresh Meadows, Queens. Good morning, Derek. Shirlene, good morning. The Queens District Attorney has now now filed 13 criminal charges against this woman who has now admitted to running down an NYPD highway patrolman uh, two nights ago and walking out of the precinct last night. She apologized. Listen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I hit him in what he said. That is 32 year old Jessica Bouvet. She's facing up to 15 years in prison for running down veteran NYPD Highway Patrolman Anastasio Sacos early Tuesday morning on the LIE. He was directing traffic after a previous fatal crash. A 26 year old man died when the driver of an Infinity slammed into a pole. Then Officer Sacos himself would die at the hands of a woman who police say was drinking heavily and smoking marijuana. She blew a 0.15 on the breathalyzer two hours after her arrest and also had a suspended license. This morning, we're hearing from Officer Sacos' loved ones, including his brother, who spoke to Eyewitness News on the phone. He didn't show this. He's not, he just bought a house. He was starting his life. Everything was doing good. Everything was cut short. That's it. I can't believe it shocking i've been crying ever since i heard family man friendly as could be and the most hard-working person you'd ever want to meet and so back to the defendant, police also found Bouvet's Facebook page, which included some uh, podcasts that she posted with uh, some anti-police rants. However, investigators continue to believe that this was nothing more than a drunk driving crash and clearly someone who should not have been behind the wheel of a car. Guys, do you see how disgusting that news coverage is? Okay, the fact that at the end, they come out and say, well, you know, um, just this one little detail here. It's not that important, but we just want to make sure you know it's not that important. But, uh, you know, she has some anti-cop like rhetoric uh, on her page and she was telling this to her audience before this happened. But, you know, we continue to believe that this was nothing more than just a drunk driving incident. He wasn't targeted in any way because he was a police officer, even though hours before, hours before. She went on an anti-cop rant. No, don't worry about it. That, that's not what this was done. That's not the motivation behind this. 
she just made a mistake. She was drunk. Again, blatant, blatant covering up for certain people to fit a certain narrative. It is disgusting that even the local media is doing it. Anybody with some common sense knows what the motivation was. Now, let's read a little bit more here to get more details about what she actually said. New York uh, radio host tells audience F the police then allegedly rams NYPD officer killing him before speeding away. On Monday night, a New York radio host streamed herself on Facebook asserting F the police then only hours later allegedly drove her Volkswagen uh, although she has a suspended license into a NYPD highway officer who was redirecting traffic, killing him before she reportedly sped away and was later apprehended. Police say her blood alcohol level was nearly twice the legal limit. On her Face Reality radio show, Jessica uh, Bivas, uh, 32, posted a nearly two-hour Facebook stream in which she spoke of the trial of Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin, saying, quote, this week we're going to talk about the ignorance that was the Derek Chauvin trial or the ignorance that is essentially just this effing justice system and played the song F the Police by NWA. She added, like NWA say about the police, if you're going to kill me, at least I get to take someone with me. I'm one of those people. If I'm going to go, someone is coming. Guys, think about what she just said. If I'm going to go, then somebody else is coming. What What do you think she's implying here? And then you got the damn local media, even the local media, saying, I don't know. It, 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 we, we investigators just think it was just drunken driving for right now. It, it, it ain't have nothing to do with what she said right before she did. It had nothing to do with her putting out ideas that this is something that she might want to do. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It, it, it's just she was drunk. Throughout the video, uh, Bivas is seen vaping and drinking an unknown dark liquid from a plastic cup and at one point washes down the contents of a red shot glass with a bottle of Snapple, Daily Mail reported. Police sources uh, claim she later confessed to guzzling vodka before the deadly accident. What happened to fighting? She asked, according to Athlet. I grew up on fighting. I like to fight my hands and my feet and teeth. It does something for me. What does it do for you? Effing people up never stop uh, being a thing. Shooting people is still whack. It means you can't fight. It means you're a cop. After signing off around 2 a.m. by saying F the police, F them, Beavis uh, drove onto the Long Island Expressway, uh, according to the criminal complaint, where uh and a Toscus, uh, Toscus 43 was direct redirecting traffic after a separate fatal car accident. Guys, this is really, really sad, right? Because, you know, this police officer was out here doing his job. He had no clue that, you know, this was about to happen to him. And that somebody who, you know, again, as you can see, um, had felt some type of way about the police, basically was going to try to take his life even though he has nothing to do with what's been going on in America regarding policing, okay? And I think what's even worse is the fact that you have the New York Times here uh, reporting on this, but conveniently leaving out the details regarding her anti-police rant before she did this. So if you look through this article here, guys, it says nothing, nothing about the motivations behind this. Nothing at all. Nothing. It, it, it's, it's, it's more focused on her being a drunk driver than the fact that this was something that, in my opinion, was premeditated. Okay? This is something that she had on her spirit to do. And then she went and put intoxicants in her body to get her in the mood and in the right state of mind to commit this heinous crime. So I, I honestly think in this situation, the charges are not enough. She should be charged with murder, in my opinion, because she murdered that police officer. What she did was that she went on radio, told the public, told her followers how she felt about police and what she wanted to do, and then she went out and did it. And the mainstream media 
instead of calling it like it is, telling it like it is, telling the whole story, they're trying to cover up the motivations. They're trying to say, well, she was just drunk. No, she wasn't just drunk. These are feelings that she actually felt. A drunk man's words are a sober man's thoughts. Okay? That's just how it is. That's how she really felt. And again, it brings up the question of, did Maxine Waters and LeBron James, when they say the things that they say, what effect does that have on people in terms of how they see the police? What is it that going to cause people to do? And situations like this need to be pointed out because obviously in this situation, she has some deep-seated hatred connected to the Derek Chauvin trial. Did she hear the things that Maxine Waters said? Probably. Did she hear the things that LeBron James said? Probably. And I'm not saying that she acted on those things specifically. But what I'm saying is, is that these are people of influence who can help calm down a populace that feels a certain way about the police and to keep a level head that's going to save lives, but they refuse to do that. They actually anteed up the rhetoric, the rhetoric. And I think that when they do that, it leads to stuff like this. It leads to people making these very poor decisions that ultimately are going to cause people their lives. Again, this poor officer, you know, who has kids, who has a family, he went out there, he's directing traffic uh, because of another fatal accident. He had no clue that because of somebody's hatred for the police that he was going to lose his life. And for all we know, he's out there trying to protect and serve. He was probably a good officer, right? Most likely. Again, this is sad, man. This is sad. And I mean, it, it, it's just, it, it really, really, really angers me that the New York Times and these mainstream media outlets are refusing to actually cover this stuff, right? They don't want to, they don't want to admit the truth. They don't want to admit that the people on the left are inciting violence against police officers because that's what it seems like. There's an argument for it. At the very least, they're not helping, right? If you want to, if you want to say they're not inciting it directly, okay, well, they're not helping, they're definitely contributing. So, like I said, guys, um, you know, this story is just so bad. And, um, you know, it, it, there's just so many levels of disgusting to the media coverage, to the person herself who did this. And it's just sad. So rest in peace to that officer. Um, let me know what you guys think. I, I hope, I just hope that more incidents like this don't happen. But, you know, with... The way social media is, the way that every single shooting is getting publicized, is getting examined, is getting scrutinized, you know, <laughs> I'm not very optimistic about uh, police relations with the community moving forward in the future, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.